Hey, you gang, we are in Tuscumbia, Alabama, Northwest Alabama, and we are at the Key Underwood Coon Dog Memorial Park. That's right, only coon dogs. Don't be bringing your poodle here or your golden poodle or golden cockapoodle or golden doodle, terriers and whatever else. Only hounds, only hounds and coon dog hounds can come here. Who thought of coming here? Someone, one of our viewers, Banana Panic. Great idea, about a year ago. So this has been on my list here and we're gonna take a look around. I just pulled in and very intriguing. And I'll tell you a little bit about how this place came to be. I mean, well, it's Key Underwood, 1937. Brought his coon dog here who died, Troop, faithful coon dog. Buried him here, and then what followed is everybody followed. Now we are way back. We are, there is no signal here. The road I came down is about six, eight miles off another road that goes. And let me tell you, there's no guardrails. Kind of like some areas that have been in Kentucky, but there's a few places. And on the 55 mile per hour, if you were to go off the road, it is straight down. It's like living in the mountains, I guess. And you, you're, you're gonna, you're not gonna make it. So ice storms and winter, man, I'd be staying home. But let's start, let's start walking. Let's check it out. I'll tell you a little bit about this place. Haven't, haven't scoped it out, of course, as I always say, we do that together. See what the surprises might be. What a nice memorial they have here. And there you see two coon dogs barking up a tree. Why are they holding onto the tree, barking up a tree? Well, that's how you coon hunt. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. Not that I've done it. But, wow, where do we start? Well, it looks like the, the stones are facing the other way. So let's see. I think we'll go this way. And see, we'll start over here and we'll just kind of go right to left. Well, like I said, only the coon dogs are here. And every Labor Day, they have a big uh, fest here, a big celebration in honor of the coon dogs. They really love their coon dogs here. So a little bit about coon dogs, they're hounds, you know, the hound. And they are a distinct type of dog that was bred. You know, you go back to the 1800s, 1885, raccoon pelts sold for 25 cents, making the money. Look at this, let's see here. Only cemetery of its kind, only coon hounds are allowed here to be buried. Troop, yep, there it is. September 4th, 1937. And <laughs> you can see up there, you can see the bullet holes. <laughs> Maybe someone was coon dog hunting out here. And you can see they have a pavilion here. Oh, this must be really neat to come out here on birth. I'll bet they bring all their coon dogs. So yeah, coon dog hunting, like I say, not that I've done it, but I know a little bit about hunting, other hunting, but coon dog hunting is you, well, you train the dog, they're trained just like bird hunting dogs with scents dragging on the ground. But the big challenge is you got to distinguish between possums and other kind of varmints and little predators, little furry predators. You want to isolate on the raccoon and they, you know, this is done at night with lights and the dogs chase the, the coons and coons, you know, coons are nocturnal raccoons. They're, they're up the tree during the day, but at night they're running around. So you chase them up a tree and you shoot it. Then you shoot it right out of the tree. Now don't get all down on these guys because that's how a lot of hunting is done. Bear hunting, I'm not saying all bear hunting, and cougar hunting, yeah, yeah, well, I know you don't like it, some of you, but, you know, 
you can disagree. And let's keep the comments nice, negative comments. I know I'm an animal lover, but if you, if you get nasty here, you're getting blocked, not just deleted. So keep it to yourself and let's respect the ways and traditions of people in our country that do things differently. Look at this. He's a three good coon hounds. Blue, Smoky, Bozo. And it's just a simple wood monument here. And they do the same here with the coins, it looks like. <laughs> Look at all. I think there's about 200 coon dogs here. A lot of stones to choose from. Let's walk over here. GR Knight channel. I'm not sure what this means. Here's one that's knocked over, sadly. Here's Duke. Here's Duke. Let's see if we can read that. Owner. So look at that in the in the brass, the little plate that was maybe worn about around Duke's neck. You know the collar. I know in trapping, you have to have a tag like that around your traps, and the dogs are running loose in case they get lost. I'm sure they have rules and regulations. There's Night Champion. Is that Night Champion? Am I reading that right? All right. I think that says Champion, yeah. Night champion. Can't read the dates down there. Screaming Hannah. Female. Owned by Ricky Brown. And there's a phone number on there. Oh no, <laughs> I thought that, that's the dates. I was like, that's a phone number with a, maybe he's breeding dogs. No, 1983, passed, gone, but not forgotten. Look at that down there. What is that? Is that an outhouse? Or is that a skeet shooting? Is that trap shooting where the, the clay targets come out? And they do the skeet shooting. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, there's some big stones down there. There's a, it's a nice path here. We'll stay on the path. Look at this stone. Wow. Fancy. Crooked Oak Ann. Look at that. Owner Jerry Bolton. Beautiful stone. I don't see a date. Oh, we've got stones here. So that's the plot. So we got a lot of this Knight CH. PR Crooked Oak Tortoise. 1988, so this goes back a ways. 1981. Crooked Oak Ruby, and here's Bean Blossom Bud. Bean Blossom Bud, and here's Bear. Passed in 1987. 12 years old. Cool sign. Look at that. That's Cast iron. That will last a long time. Look at this here. How neat. Carved from a log. Brackliffs. Red Rusty Papa. Past looks like a 1990. 1991 maybe. You've got the owner. Let's go up here. Sparks. Sparks bow. World 
champion Redbone owner, Billy Sparks. Sparks bow moved from 1984 to 1996. 12 years old, that's kind of a, I bet that's the life expense, uh, average life expectancy around. It's kind of normal for a lot of dogs. Look at that, UKC. So on the left, I'm not sure what this GRNT, I'm seeing a lot of that. I'm sure it has a lot to do with the sport, the breed. Hatton's Blue, Fa Blue Flash Jr. Born in 10, 1891, past July 01. 85 to 97, again. Blue Flash. Look at this stone down here. I think those are outhouses. I'm just looking over here. There's another one. Let's take a looky see. Anybody home? Oh, yeah. oh I heard a bark. It's smelly in there, guys. We won't go in. Close the door. Oof. I gotta clean that one out. There's another amazing sign. Creek Bottom Highball, English Coonhound. Oh, uh, collar. Sad. Best walker dog and my best friend. Look at those. Wow. Here's a big piece of slate or I think this is actually sandstone native to the area. Look at that. Beautiful rendition. The relief. The dog treen. Looks like a fox, actually. But it's got to be a raccoon. Yep. Now remember, that's how they hunted fox. and hunt, hunt fox, you know, the horses, the English. Boy, we got titled pups. Dottie produced 25 titled pups, which is more than any English female, past or present. Wow. There's Old Blue. Grand Champion, Grand Knight Champion. Whoops, sorry about that. Nine years old. Devo. And you see that rendition again. That's the common, the common picture you see on all of these. And some of these, boy, they have spent some time and money. They love their coon dogs. Well, we all love our dogs. That is for sure. And here is probably the most elaborate artwork that I've seen. Reserve World Champion, PKC in 2012, 2013, Alabama State Champion, oh boy. Grand Knight Champion, Hunt Finalist. That's interesting, there's a, this is a brushed stainless steel, it looks to me, with this on top. Well, what a neat place. 
What a neat place this is. Glad I came back here. All right, guys. I am... This is the final episode. I'm heading home. March 1st. I'm heading home. I think it's a 11 hour, 10 hour drive from here. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this adventure counterclockwise from Texas, New Orleans, Florida, South Carolina, all the way up this way, Alabama. We got a lot in. It was fun. That was a fun trip. We'll do it again. Next winter I'll be in Arizona. So we'll hit a lot of that area. New Mexico and Nevada and who knows. Life's an adventure. Enjoy it. Stay safe everybody.